Women stabs date to avenge Iranian general killed by U.S. drone strike. On March 5th, Nika Nikobim was accused of stabbing her date in a Nevada hotel. According to the court documents submitted by the police, the 21-year-old wanted revenge for the killing of Iranian Major General Qasem Soleimani, who died by an American drone strike in 2020. Soleimani was the head of the Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps, Quds Force, and was responsible for Iran's foreign, uh, uh, foreign military operations. According to Henderson police, the two met online and decided to meet at a hotel. The two eventually started having sex when Nikobim blindfolded the victim and turned the lights off. A few minutes later, the victim, quote, felt a pain on the side of his neck. The victim was able to push Nikobim away and then ran outside to call 911. Nikobim also ran out of the room and confessed to a hotel employee that she stabbed her date. Nikobim told investigators that she did, quote, she did it, quote, for revenge against U.S. troops for killing Qasem Soleimani in 2020. Nikobim will be charged with attempted murder, battery with a deadly weapon, and burglary. The condition of the victim is unavailable at this moment. That man must have been so confused. Like, imagine after he got stabbed and, like, didn't know what happened. Like, eventually, like, it was explained to him, like, oh, yeah, this... This Iranian woman was taking revenge of you. Like, revenge for what? What did I do? Like, for the killing of Qasem Soleimani. And, and like, I don't know if this guy know who this Qasem Soleimani is. Like, who? What? That's Qasem, what I was what? saying earlier. I was like, <laughs> Qasem Soleimani. Who? <laughs> Qasem. <laughs> like, what did I do? What did I do? <laughs> Why me? <laughs> like, I don't know. But this, this, this lady is crazy. Um... Like why that? What like is, do they like? Is her understanding that every American is responsible? Like you could just take revenge. This is your mind on collectivism, guys. By the way, this is this is how collective. This is the natural co uh, conclusion of a collectivist mindset. Uh, just a random American just get revenge from because of you know because of the uh, killing of Boston Soleimani. Just like walk up to America, America. By the way, this made a whole bunch of news. You know, a lot of Iranians are still don't unfamiliar with a whole bunch of more liberal minded set, uh, Iranians who are supporting the Islamic Republic of Iran like a, a lot of Iranians have this are still waking up to I thought like this is now common knowledge like it's not just the religious people right it's not just all religious people the 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 borders behind who supports Islamic the Islamic Republic of Iran and who doesn't is not as clear cut and it was it was it's not like a polar um it's not like you know, a binary, like, oh, nationalistic, anti uh, the Islamic Republic and religious pro Islamic Republic, right? Because I thought, like, most people realize that it's a little bit more complicated right now. But then I realized that, no, apparently a lot of people don't because a lot of people are like, look, but this girl, she's not a hijabi and she dresses like this. Why is she upset about Qasem Soleimani's assassination? Like, a lot of Iranians were surprised. I like where have where are you? like on social media people were shocked. I was like, why are you shocked? Like, where have you been? Have you not seen the new trends on Iranian social media? But okay, so anyways, what are your thoughts on this? I remember when this news came out. I saw it first on Masih Linajad's Instagram, and I sent it to you, and I was like, who is this crazy bitch? <laughs> It, Wait! Don't swear. Was, you, you, we need to now that we monetize. You did within less than a minute. What did I say? You said GD. I did. What GD? Yes, What's you did. GD? Oh God, God damn. damn it! That's not YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not YouTube. Okay, YouTube doesn't care about that's that. That's swearing. Okay, I don't know. That's swearing. Okay, I, okay. Okay. Curse words. Okay. I just like. Okay. Now that, that is we, a guys, curse word. Okay. Now. Okay. I don't think YouTube cares about that. But now that we are on monetized, we have to be on our best behavior. Okay. Okay. But go on. Don't call her a B word, but go on. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I thought it was interesting because a few weeks ago, we covered the story of Ibrahim Raisi giving a speech talking about how the Muslims will get their martyrs revenge for the death of Qasem Soleimani. And I was like, is this it? Is, has it come? 
But yeah, it was just insane. I just, I, this story just blew my mind because it's so random. I was like, we have to cover it. Um, I wonder like what, and she said reportedly that it was, she wanted revenge. And then it was also this, this song. She told investigators that it was a song called, um, grave digger that inspired her to do this. I tried to look up oh, the song, but there's a lot, there's a lot of songs called grave digger. So I think the one that says grave digger, if you, if you dig my grave, can you make it shallow so I could feel the pain, feel the rain? Is that that one? I don't know. I don't know. There's there's a lot of songs named Grave Digger. What? Okay, there's a lot. Okay, no. Whoa, we get another super chat from Ghost Bunny. Also, we got two new members. <laughs> Ghost Bunny Hold is up. saying, "Here, take my money." <laughs> uh, thank you, thank Ghost you Bunny. for the super chat, Ghost Bunny. Um, also, well, Oxymoron became a member, oh, wow. and Music Guy just became a member. So, thank you. Thank for that. you. Um, so. Armin, you are very up to date on, you know, the, the word on the street in uh, Persian social media. And so my question is, because you're always telling me about lots of conspiracy theories that crop up about pretty much anything that happens. <laughs> yeah, Were yeah, there yeah. any conspiracy theories that you need to report on for this news? I mean, I mean, the standard... I mean, the, the, the connection is too easy. So it's not like one of those crazy conspiracy theories. That you connect the dots like really in a crazy way. It's just like uh, she's paid by the IRGC, you know. So I don't know. Paid by IRGC, standard conspiracy theory. Like that's it. It's not one of those juicy ones. It's it's just like not that. Yeah. And because because the conspiracy theorists in Iran like the and so do we have the conspiracy theorists that are pro the Islamic Republic? They see everything to be the work of like zionists right everywhere mm. right um or the freemasons or the illuminati which are to them they seem to be all the same but on the other side um the my my side the anti-regime side they unfortunately also are dabbing into a whole bunch of conspiracy theories but they see the islamic republic everywhere everywhere like anything like not all of them obviously like some of them but they go like if you just disagree with them, like uh, like for example, I am very anti-monarchy, right? Yes. Um, and a lot of anti-regime people, I think around twenty percent of anti-regime people in Iran, twenty percent of people in Iran, who are also against the Islamic Republic, they are pro-monarchy, right? Mm -hmm. So every time I speak against monarchy, th there's always this wave of people who accuse me of being a puppet of the Islamic Republic. Like I am. I am accused of being an agent of the Islamic Republic of Iran constantly, constantly on the Persian side. So that's how it goes. Like, I, I, th I think that's so funny. I think to like our audience over here on the English channel, that's just so laughable and like crazy to imagine. Then like Armin is the <laughs> <laughs> secret controlled opposition of the Islamic Republic. Yeah. By Don't the way, you know D that that's gave... my job? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, both uh, of us. D because... just gave us a $6.66 super chat. Based. Saying, Jizya, thank you, yes. D, for paying your So, jizya. So this, well, uh, the 666 donation, but the Jizya implies that both me and Susanna are doing Taqiyya, and she as a Dimi, is paying us jizya for being in this Islamic territory. So thank you for blowing our cover, D. But <laughs> damn it. Oh shoot. I forgot about the monetization. Okay, I'm gonna be very good. Damn about... it is fine. Just slow. No, like, it's not. Make... That's a swear. That is a swear. Okay. I don't think you took care about that, but sure. All right. <laughs> Adam is saying, and that is why Armin is trying to infiltrate Mossad. <laughs> Double agent. <Asian. laughs> okay. Um, R wait, there was something else Musa I wanted to Oh, yeah. So Rudresh is saying leftists, you know, like Kyle Kolinsky, who is very sympathetic to the Islamic Republic of Iran, are responsible for this. No. Indirectly. I mean, no. What do you think? No. I don't think so. I mean, first of all, if that is, if if Kai Klinsker is responsible for this, 
then we could be held responsible for any attack on Muslims in that and that indirectly. Like I don't, you know what I mean? Like we could be like, we didn't, you know, like if 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 you want to go down that like I'm against what a lot of Karl Kolonsky's positions, but I wouldn't accuse them of indirectly being responsible for stuff like this. That is no, 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 no. That would if if that's our standards, then nobody can say anything because you could like connect, you could draw the lines. You know, you could stretch it in any way you want. Like, just if somebody's wrong, just accuse them of being wrong. Don't accuse them of being like promoting stuff like this, right? Also, like, you don't think that the fact that she's Iranian has more more likely, like, why? You know, it's a huge stretch to be like, oh, she must be listening to Kyle Kalinske. I mean, she's Iranian. She's more likely to be exposed to IRGC propaganda than Kyle Kalinske propaganda. So there's that. Well, and Rodrish is oh. saying not. Kyle specifically, but just kind of that vein of leftist. I don't think so. I think like you could just be wrong about, you know, Iran, but like if and not be directly or indirectly responsible for something like this. I think like we should just focus on people being wrong about the rather than mm -hmm. accusing them of. Yeah, I, I think because Ridish, based on your reasoning, even, like you could say that anybody who criticizes christianity then you have to indirectly hold them responsible for crimes on christians anybody who criticizes islam you have to indirectly hold them responsible for crimes on muslims you know what i mean you could you could make those connections so loosely that way so i don't think it's fair but this is funny to me so nanda who oftentimes doesn't like us very much because uh, we go after right-wing hindu nationalism in india is very insistent that I am innocent and I am not doing takia. So implying that I am <laughs> only <laughs> saying doing takia only Armin, not Susanna. <laughs> okay, very okay, okay. <laughs> what if it's the other way around? What if we're just joking about takia, but Susanna is the real one who's doing takia? How many layers of takia? Yes. <laughs> okay. Like even I'm confused. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and this made me <laughs> laugh really hard. Secular rarity is saying, you know what I'm going to say? You know what? I'm going to say it. You shouldn't use kinky sex for nefarious purposes like this. <laughs> By the way, um, I'm so glad that this woman was so extremely weak. Like you had the guy tied down and blindfolded. Right? And, <laughs> and you still like, he was like, I just felt something painful in my neck. Uh, like okay like if you can, so i'm so glad that the man survived and you're so bad at what you were trying to do like how could you like wait i have to be more careful because you two might think like i'm saying like guys now yeah, we're yeah. gonna be so careful because of the <laughs> okay guys uh, yeah this was obviously a crime i hope she goes to jail well she i mean is, if she, she will unless she's insane then i hope she gets the help she needs mm Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. that fair maybe she's just insane maybe she's like maybe she just needs honestly some... maybe <laughs> yeah we don't know Mustafa is saying 50 shades of Hussein. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good That was a that was a, your best, Mustafa. That was your best one. Yet. Mustafa has good. great one-liners. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below